What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video today to go over a new Aero video release that I picked up and to be honest this was actually an accidental buy by your boy Nornrad89. I was quite happy with it though. This is quite an awesome blind buy. I accidentally bought this film because there's another movie by the same title, different director, released around the same time and everything but just completely mixed up the titles and I ended up picking this up, but this is a fantastic release. I watched all the special features. I watched the movie as well. So today you're going to hear my thoughts on this awesome release of Eaten Alive by Arrow Video. So let's do this. Roll it. <laughs> So Eaten Alive is a movie that came out in 1976. This is directed by Toby Hooper. This stars Marilyn Burns, Robert England, Melvin Brand, and there's there's a fantastic cast of actors in here for real. Even Kyle Richards is in here as well. So that's one thing that quite surprised me. And this was an accidental buy by your boy Nornrad89. I bought this because I thought this was, I was just scrolling through Arrow Video, and I thought this was Eaten Alive, directed by Liberto Bava, which is a cannibal film. And this one is, this is not that film. This one's directed by Toby Hooper. This takes place in like Louisiana, where Melvin Brand plays this guy named Judd who runs this kind of rundown starlight hotel kind of thing off the side of the road and the people that end up staying there find out that Judd is not the most awesome tenant or not the most awesome person to be going to stay at his hotel you know and he's got a crocodile that he keeps as a pet so yeah there's a fantastic fantastic vibes in this film in terms of the way it looks it's got this lighting in it the surrealistic nature to it this dreamlike kind of almost Wizard of Oz thing Toby Hooper actually talks about that in the special features that he wanted to shoot this film on a sound stage that way he was able to control more of the lighting and the smoke and all the effects and the way like the ambient and the way the film actually looks so this film is actually dripping with atmosphere it's got some really cool sound effects and sound design too because you hear like the frogs and the crickets and it, it feels like louisiana like it does feel like a backwoods kind of swamp area so let's kind of show off this release right here and then we'll talk about the film as well there's the front part and your back part right there i'm going to go over and talk about the special features that are on here because like i said i watched the movie and i watched all the featurettes and stuff like that so we're going to show this bad boy off take out our little our little arrow video stream card thing that's pretty cool i like that that's cool <laughs> and this has two discs so we have the blu-ray and your dvd right there Let's take these out and actually, to be honest, take them out. We're just going to flip the cover work art because actually I think the cover art, the old cover art does this film better <laughs> in terms of representing what it is and stuff. I would say the weakest parts of this film would probably be for me, like the first 10 minutes, the first 10 minutes of the film is pretty rough to get through, like in terms of just like the tone of it. The first 10 minutes, I was kind of like, what are we doing here? So that's kind of rough. And also the alligator famously known kind of like Jaws, the alligator that they used in this film was a very really big alligator and it wasn't the best mechanical designed alligator that didn't work all the time and it was made out of this kind of spongy material toby hooper talks about it that one day one of the people in the special features somebody left the the alligator in the tank in the water that they were using to shoot the underwater the water sequences and the uh, alligator ended up soaking up the water and ended up becoming like three times the size that it normally is supposed to be so yeah it's it was quite funny the featurettes on here are really awesome to hear what they had to go through that the the filming wasn't the best filming but they all made the best of it because they all talk about it like it was a fantastic time and they really had a lot of fun and this is actually robert england's first horror movie performance this is his first horror movie performance before he was even nightmare on elm street before we knew him as freddy krueger the legend he was in eaten alive and he plays this really sleazy character named buck so as you can tell i was actually quite happy with this blind buy i do love the other film that i'm going to pick up i want to get that one i believe that one is actually by Vinegar Syndrome. I think Vinegar Syndrome has a really, or Severin, a Severin or Vinegar Syndrome has the other Eaten Alive that I want to get, and that's, that's a cannibal movie, and that, that's a really good movie too, but this one was a fantastic watch and a great blind buy. So let's talk about the special features that are on this bad boy. 
We have a brand new 2K restoration of the film from the original camera negative approved by director Toby Hooper. High definition Blu-ray 1080p, the standard definition DVD presentation, original mono and audio com uncompressed PCM and on the Blu-ray. Optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Audio commentary from the co-writer and producer Marty Rustam, actors Roberto Collins and William Finley and Kyle Richards. I can't believe Kyle Richards is in here too. And her character, the stuff that she had to do in this movie and go through is just, oh my God. <laughs> and especially at such a young age and makeup by Craig and makeup artist Craig Reederin. New introduction of the film by Toby Hooper. Blood on the Bayou, a brand new interview with Hooper. Gator Bait, a brand new interview with star Janice Blythe. Monsters and Metaphors, a brand new interview and makeup artist Craig Reardon. And the Gator Creator, an archive interview with Hooper. My Name is Buck, an archive interview with Robert England. Five Minutes with Marilyn Burns. Texas Chainsaw star discusses her role in Eaten Alive. The Butcher of Elmendorf, The Legend of Joe Bale, featurette looking at the true life story of a South Texas bar owner on whom Eaten Alive was loosely based on, and original, original theatrical trailers of the film and various alternate titles, Eaten Alive, Death Trap, Starlight Slaughter, and Horror Hotel. It's kind of funny, this film actually has so many titles in the UK, other countries and stuff, and Toby Hooper said that as many titles as there are for this film there was that there's that many scripts and that many rewrites too behind the scenes slideshows stills promo material gallery audience comment cards and reversible sleeve right here and the stuff and like I said that has the newly artwork done by Gary Poland is the one that did the other artwork that you see that I originally had on here but man yeah like this was quite a surprise and Toby Hooper when you watch this film he's just able to do these films that are like dripping with this atmosphere and he gets these performances out of his actors and his actresses like he he's just one of those directors that is able to pull these creative weird avant-garde performances out of his you know actors and like i just don't know how he does it maybe it's because of the conditions or the way that they film or like what they have to go through and stuff like that but yeah eating alive was quite a fantastic surprise and this one i highly highly recommend this one so thanks for sticking around with me all i hope you enjoyed this review of eaten alive the arrow video blu-ray release i have some other physical media content that i'm gonna be going through and i want to talk about but i gotta watch the special features and go through them i got some stuff from vinegar syndrome and i also got some more stuff from arrow video coming too so there's gonna be a lot of physical media content coming over the last or the next couple weeks so make sure you stay tuned to the channel have the notification bell poked so you're notified anytime i drop a video but most importantly you all know what's up have a safe and happy day peace out